Zero versus QuickBooks, which is the best accounting software. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will be doing a quick comparison of Zero and QuickBooks, what the platforms are like, the different price plans that are available. So let's get into it. So Zero and QuickBooks are two of the most popular accounting softwares out there for small businesses looking to keep track of their finances. Although both of these at a glance might seem very familiar, very similar as well, both offer similar services, but they have some integral differences as well, such as their pricing, customer service, and reviews. So let's take a look at the differences and similarities. So first off, let's go over the price plans, the most cheapest version of QuickBooks or Xero. Now, to get started with Zero, it starts at $25 per month with uh, 20 invoices that you can generate, 5 bills, reconciliation, bank transactions. But the simplest or cheapest version at QuickBooks Online, so this is particularly QuickBooks Online, this is not the full plan of QuickBooks, but this starts at only $9 a month where you can track income and expenses, you have connections to banks as well as well as some other key integral features like receipts, insights, and reports that you're not going to find detailed as detailed in Zero. Now, QuickBooks offers you a more intuitive interface. This is because this was designed with small businesses, you know, startups, small businesses in mind. This is for someone that does not have a accounting background, but still wants to manage their finances. However, if you take a look at the Zero dashboard, it's much more targeted towards an actual accountant rather than for a particular person who is just trying to set up payment for their business. Now, Zero is definitely a better option for businesses that need to, uh, you know, have projections to be able to track how profitable a business is, how profitable a project is, because it will allow you to see the total money that is coming in and out from a particular product, uh, from a particular project, and it offers you better options that are, uh, you know, internationally convertible, so you can have multi-currency support as well. Now, if you take a look at the basic functions of QuickBooks, they're all focused on managing your own business. However, if you take a look at the analytics and accounting section on your Zero dashboard, you're going to find it to be a lot more detailed, but it's pretty much directed only towards finances and management of finances. So if we take a look at a glance of the different um, payroll integrations or features that you get, with Zero, it starts at is $25 a month, which is slightly more pricey. However, if you want to include payroll integration, that starts at $40 a month. Both of these platforms allow you to capture and organize your receipts, track mileage, have invoicing, and have at a glance cash flow snapshots. However, if you take a look at the features such as maximum users, with Zero, you have unlimited users you can add. However, your users are limited to only 40 on the QuickBooks platform. Now, if we take a look at some of their more detailed features, although their pricing might seem pretty competitive, it although QuickBooks is pretty much cheaper uh, in most regards than zero, there are some additional fees that you have to end up paying and it just really accounts to be the same. You can, if you take a look at features like tracking mileage and having snapshots of your businesses, zero's lowest tiered plan allows you to send and approve 20 invoices. However, there are no limits on their higher plans for invoices, but if you take a look at the QuickBooks one and if you take a look at your invoices and, you know, payroll management over here, you don't really have a lot of different issues with payrolls or print checks over here, but you have to keep into consideration there are several different limitations of using QuickBooks as well, because although QuickBooks is a great alternative to manage your own personal business, if you are expanding and you have to move internationally, you really can't convert, you know, you can't really uh, see the multi-currency options. You can manage accounts, you can reconcile your account, apply bank rules, you also have receiving money, spending money, transfer money, so you can manage all of that at a bird's eye view. 
However, at QuickBooks, you're not going to find these features to be as easily accessible. The only thing you can do really at QuickBooks is that you can go into your report section and build reports. These reports are not going to be as visually appealing. You can't really do a lot of things like tax inclusive, tax exclusive reports, non-tax reports. So, so businesses that are expanding from maybe, you know, a couple of hundred customers to 100,000 customers, you're not going to have those short term, uh, you know, you need to find something that is robust that is going to never fail you and you also get detailed analytics so so if your business is expanding from a couple of hundred people to a couple of hundred thousand then you need to have projection times you have features like short-term cash flows business snapshots as well as bills to pay, expense claims products and services your pay run and then more detailed features like advanced features which include having fixed assets in your business, finding and recoding, as well as sales tax, profit and loss, a basic balance sheet, aged receivables, aged payables, reports, bank accounts, and advanced project and analytics. Then you can also separate your businesses. So if you're running one business, uh, it's fine, but you can separate your businesses in the form of projects. So you don't really have to create multiple different accounts to manage different you know sections of the business you can do it all in one section by simply uh, separating them with projects you also can manage time entries you can view your time entries if you have to you know pay your employees then you can have your time entry buttons and you can add a time entry button over here as well you can also set timers for your project this can also be super helpful in projecting how much a client has to pay so you can give them estimates of how much their project is going to end up costing these projections are super essential for any service-based business quickbooks has no comparable features in regards to these kinds of features these kinds of features are not really available on the basic plan on quickbooks if you'll take a look at even their plus plan they have multi-currency options but they don't have things like tracking your time and basing invoicing on time as well not only that, but you also cannot do things such as time tracking as well as, you know, analytical business reports as well on QuickBooks. So Zero and QuickBooks are both amazing for the customer, for the consumer that they are based on. If you're looking for a robust accounting based tool, then Zero is definitely the option for you. But if you're just looking for a basic accounting tool that will help you in doing some of your basic features that allow you to manage, you know, your payrolls and basic day to day finances, then QuickBooks is definitely the option for you. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.